What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 1998 film Dead Man on Campus. So um, I had never heard of this movie until recently. I was um, listening to, I was like re-listening to this podcast that I like called uh, The Skeleton Crew. It's a, you, you can find them on YouTube. They don't really put out like a lot of new episodes and their episodes came out like quite a few years ago. Most of them that are on YouTube, like I didn't check them out when they came out, but I just like always, I found out about them like a couple years ago and I always go back and watch their stuff. But um, they were doing a podcast on uh, Freddy versus Jason and the guy who plays one of the cops in Freddy vs. Jason is in this movie and then they like mention this movie I'm like oh I've never heard of that you know I'm like big fan of comedy so I'm like oh let me check it out and so this has always been like in the not always but um ever since I heard about this movie it's been in the back of my mind you know something that I want to check out and I checked it out and I had a really fun time with this. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't great. It wasn't. It didn't totally knock my socks off. Um, I've definitely seen better comedies, but I mean, in terms of enjoyment and fun, I I really enjoyed this. Um, there were some funny moments. It just it just had a good, just a good vibe to it. I'm like a sucker for college movies, college comedies, so, I don't know, you know, this was just, it was, uh, you know, Saturday night, you know, if, if it's like, you know, it's a fun movie to watch Saturday night, you have a couple drinks, it's a fun college comedy, so, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a good time, but, um, I'm gonna get into a little plot summary here, because I pretty much went over my thoughts, so you have this uh this guy Josh he's you know he's uh got his stuff together he's on an academic scholarship and he gets to college his roommate Cooper is just an absolute slacker he comes from like a a rich family so you know it doesn't like it doesn't he's not on a scholarship he doesn't need to keep a certain grade point average so he kind of just slacks off he doesn't really go to class he's partying every night and he kind of brings Josh down with him because Josh is just like I'm gonna go to sleep early I I gotta get up early you know I gotta study and then it was funny it was funny one of the jokes early on because uh, Cooper finds out that Josh you know is on uh, academic scholarship he's like oh wait he's like what you're on academic scholarship? He's like, wait, so you studied in high school? He's like, I, I knew a couple people who did that. I thought I thought that was absolutely hilarious. But um, yeah, basically, um, Cooper brings down Josh with him. Um, and, like Josh is like trying to keep it together, but then he gets with this girl and he, you know, he's like kind of high off the experience because, you know, they like, had sex and he's like man college is great I just had sex like I, I just we, we just met I just had sex I'm I'm drinking on the reg I'm smoking he's like man F studying like so yeah Cooper kind of is like a bad influence and then you know once he gets a little taste of like the partying and the women he's just like man I don't want to go back to this lame studying I'm just gonna I'm just gonna party on the reg so you know He's not studying. He has to keep a B plus average to keep his scholarship. And he's not studying. He fails his midterms. And, you know, he comes to, like, the realization even if he were to get A plus pluses, he wouldn't even have a high enough average to keep his scholarship. So no matter what he does, he's going to get kicked out of school. Um, Cooper, his dad comes through and is like, Cooper, you're... you're you're just slacking off, you're wasting my money. Um, if you continue to get bad grades, if you don't 
get your act together, you're going to be working at my company. And his company is this uh, toilet cleaning company. Of course, he's like the CEO, so he doesn't have to get down and dirty. And, you know, he, he's, he's balling. He's super rich. But he's like, yeah, if, if you don't get your grades up, you're going to have to work for me. And you're not working in the office. You're going to be working down and dirty. You're going to be like uh, doing manual labor, cleaning these nasty toilets. So, uh, yeah, Cooper is not about that life. He doesn't want to clean uh, all that nastiness. So he's like, all right, I got to stay in school. Josh has to stay in school. So they're at the bar and they find out that um, there's this loophole where basically um, if your roommate, you know, takes their own life, then uh, you you get automatic straight A's because it's like you're, you're in no position to study because of the mental distress. So they uh they they have a free room because uh there's this character played by Josh Siegel and uh he's like a catholic school guy and he has anger issues and he gets with this catholic girl and he just like moves to her place cuz uh you know they're just like banging on the reg so they have an extra room and they keep bringing in all these different people who they think are on like the verge of uh taking their life and uh, a lot of hilariosity ensues. There's just they just meet all these crazy people. They have a bunch of crazy roommates, and that's the the basic plot. So you know, now that I went over the plot, I'm gonna get into some of my likes here. So the first thing that I really liked, I thought the opening credits were really creative. A lot of movies just have bland opening credits this was like a book of you know different ways that people could meet their demise and it was like you know these little diagrams and stuff I thought it was super creative and it was kind of funny like one of them was like somebody sticking a, a fork in like a toaster or something I I mean I know that sounds dark but this is a, this is a dark comedy and I, I I know with this review you know a lot of the subject matter people may find offensive. I'm not trying to offend anyone. If I do, I'm sorry, but that's just, I mean, that's like the plot, like how I was talking about the stuff of, you know, the people taking their own life and stuff. That's just like the plot of the movie. So I'm just talking about the movie, not trying to offend anyone. If I do, I'm very sorry. That's not my intentions. So yeah, the opening credits were, were great. It was like dark, but in a funny way, in my opinion, this whole movie is like very dark. It's definitely a dark comedy um another thing that i wrote in my likes is um i liked jason siegel's character because the whole joke is he's all pent up because he went to an all boys school so you know he needs to release some tension if you know what i mean and then he meets this uh this catholic girl and he's like did you did you go to our, he's like are you catholic and she's like yeah, I went to an all-girls school, and then he's just like, immediately, he's like, I didn't, I didn't say, immediately, he's like, I, I love you, and then they just uh, get together, and the girl that he's dating in the movie is, she's in a bunch of stuff, she's in Freaks and Geeks, she's in the Scooby-Doo movie, she's Velma, um, she's in Grandma's Boy, I don't know if you all watching have seen Grandma's Boy, but oh my goodness, that's like, that's like one of the best uh, stoner comedies of all time. That's like, I mean, if I, if I were to make a list of uh, like top five stoner comedies, Grandma's Boy, that's just, ooh, it's so solid. I need to watch that. I mean, 420 is coming up. I don't know if I will watch it, but I, I have it on DVD, so who knows? Maybe I'll do a review for that around 420. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't call it, but. That's a, a great movie. I didn't write this down in my likes, but yeah, something that's also cool about this movie is like so many familiar faces. Like I said, you got Jason Siegel, you got the girl from Grandma's Boy, you got the girl from uh, like the band camp girl from American Pie. Um, the main guy, Cooper, he's from Saved by the Bell. I didn't really watch that show. That was like a little bit before my time, but like I know of him. You got the dude from Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, 
who else? I think I think that's that's most of the people that uh that I recognize. But it's it's always fun to uh, I I recognize the main guy too. I don't know what he's from, but I've I've seen him in other stuff. Um, maybe it'll come to me. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's always cool to to see some familiar faces. And this was when like a lot of these actors were young. They were just starting out. So that's always cool to see. Um, and then some other stuff that I liked were just all the party elements and the college stuff. I thought that was fun. Like I said, I'm already a fan of college movies, so that was fun. It's just it's it's just a fun movie to watch on the weekend. Just it's you know it's just it doesn't take itself too seriously it's just a good time i was in the mood for a comedy so it definitely uh you know it was like a an itch that i was trying to scratch so to speak so it definitely i don't know it was i was i was in the mood for something like this it definitely like it definitely met my needs you know um yeah and then there, there's this like running, like there's this running joke of the two leads. They always get in these situations where it makes it look like uh, they're in a relationship. So everyone throughout the whole movie thinks they're in a relationship, and uh, there's like some funny dialogue. Like they're in the the room together and they're talking about like pulling out and this and that. And I, I thought that was like a a funny little running joke. Um, and yeah, the like one of the main funny things about this movie this is the last thing i wrote for my likes and i'm gonna get to my dislikes the main funny thing in this movie were all the crazy roommates so they were like scoping out people for, who were like on the verge of you know taking their own life so uh the first guy is this super paranoid conspiracy theory dude he wasn't that funny but um then I don't know if he was the first guy. I think he was the first guy. No, the frat guy was the first guy. I think the the uh, conspiracy theory guy was the second guy. But yeah, yeah, the frat guy was the guy from Freddy vs. Jason. He was absolutely hilarious. Like he, he's just so reckless. He almost like you know dies like all the time. He's like climbing on the roof, throwing water balloons. He's he literally is like playing chicken with cars like swerving in front of him and then he's like he he's like calling police pigs and he's like this fool literally shoots at the cops like he's just he's the he's just insane like uh they bring around the girls and he like lights the girl's hair on fire accidentally he the, this guy's just absolutely nuts he's so over the top he's so crazy like he's just like nobody likes him he's just like super annoying just he's just insane he's just he's he's nuts he was super funny um and then there's this depressed singer guy but he's like f they realize he's just fake depressed to get girls like basically um he's he's faking a british accent he's fake being depressed he just sings show tunes and uh cooper like finds him in the bathroom singing show tunes he's like what are you doing you're singing sh show tunes he's like no no depressed person singing show tunes and then they find a picture of him in the yearbook and he, he was like a cheerleader and stuff and then now he's trying to be all like goth he's like this depressed dude in the band and he's making like emo rock or whatever is that even a, a real thing i know there's emo rap but i don't know I, it's probably a thing but um yeah that all, all the sequences with him were super funny so all the stuff with the the roommate choices was absolutely absolutely hilarious and I loved it so that's the last thing that I have here for my likes now I'm, now I'm about to jump into my dislikes like I said overall I liked this movie I had a fun time with it but um there were some things that I disliked the first thing that I disliked was that the tone was super uneven it's it's weird because it's like a super upbeat college party movie but then at the same time the subject matter is extremely dark so then when i would I, like when i would think about it i'd be like man this is kind of messed up i'd be like these guys are kind of messed up and that actually leads into my second like which is pretty much is very similar to i mean no m not my second like that le this leads into my second dislike which is pretty similar to the first one and that is the characters like i i like them but then when when i like think when i would think about it 
I'd be like, like, maybe I don't like that. I'm, I'd be like, well, cause it, like they're, you know, fun guys and that, you know, they're like charismatic for the most part. And they have like a nice friendship. But then I'd be like, man, these guys are kind of like bad people. Like they're, they're, they're basically like, I mean, they're not really trying to murder someone, but like, kind of like, they're like, oh, we're just gonna, yeah, cause that's how they say it, like to like justify it in their head. They're like, well, we're not killing anyone. They're gonna kill themselves anyway. So they, they might as well kill themselves while they're in their, while they're in our room. So it's like, it's, it's like this movie's weird. Cause it's like in your head, you're like, you know, you have like, you know, your morals and you're like, well, I like these guys. They're like nice enough guys. But then when I think about it, they're like, terrible guys like and then they're the lead so you're supposed to like that it's it's just it, I don't, it, like I said it's it's like it's all over the place like overall I like the movie but it it is it is even just even the concept is like a weird choice and I mean of course this like this movie wouldn't fly today but I'm even surprised that this got made in 1998 because of course you could get away with more back then, but like even back, even for back then, this is like, this is like a dark concept. But I mean, like I said, you know, there's some dark stuff and the characters are kind of pieces of shit if you think about it. But overall, I thought they were likable and I thought, you know, the movie was fun overall. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and then the last thing that I wrote for my dislikes is like the main relationship. I just, I feel like they didn't have any chemistry. Like, uh, what's the girl's name? Rachel. So Josh and Rachel are like initially talking, like they don't really even talk that much. And they're all like lovey dovey. Like they, they don't even really get to know each other. And then I feel like the relationship is like tossed to, uh, tossed to the back burner for like, the whole middle part of the movie where I totally forgot about it and and then it's just like oh in the end it's like oh they get back together and you know she's writing short stories about him and and it's like I don't know I just feel like I mean they they I feel like they, they didn't really like flesh out the relationship not that it really matters this is just like a silly comedy but I mean because that's that's the whole thing like a relationship is you know supposed to be like a subplot but if they just like put it in there just to have a subplot but they didn't really do anything with it and I don't know I feel like they could have had more chemistry I don't know that's just me but um yeah those are my dislikes other than that I liked a whole lot about this movie I liked everything else about this movie so I've I'm just going over this I've said it a bunch of times already but I had fun with this so would I recommend it? I would absolutely recommend this. If you're looking for something funny to watch, if you're looking for a comedy, definitely check this out. So that has my uh that has been my review of Dead Man on Campus. Thank you all very much for watching and peace out.